Hey Blunty, I was wondering how I should respond to you. I thought maybe I would get a few little toys and have them do a conversation. Hi, I'm Blunty. Let me tell you something you don't know because you're stupid. But I thought that would be too um, mean. Then I thought I could give you a little speech using your own winsome sarcastic smile after you say sarcastically insulting things to everyone. But instead I thought I would just give you some facts and let sh uh, the people who watch uh, decide for themselves whether you're an idiot or not. You made three, uh, uh, how I came upon your videos recently, because I did unsubscribe to you uh, already a while ago, uh, is irrelevant, but I've, I've come upon your videos again, and I see you've made a video about Britney Spears, questioning why people are interested in Britney Spears. Britney Spears is a young woman with a nice body who is self-destructing. <laughs> the fact that you don't understand people are interested in this it only shows how separated you are from society. It doesn't really, I mean, look, you're a misfit, you're a nerd, whatever, but you have to understand people, most people are interested in stupid things, all right? If you don't understand this, then you got to do some soul searching, buddy. And number two, well, that's, that's kind of irrelevant, but I did notice that you used Britney Spears' uh, picture in the center to get a lot of hits there, 23,000. Quite impressive. I'm sure she couldn't have done that without bashing somebody. Oh yeah, two things about you and Britney Spears. Uh, you both appeal to the lowest common denominator, stupidity, or pretending to be, or, or, or arrogant, and arrogance. Both of you are quite arrogant, I think. Uh, number two, then you make a video called, um, what's it called? Oh, I'm not even going to, I'm just going to ignore your, this is art and I'm better than you. <laughs> and again, in your comments, you tell everybody that uh, they don't get it, they're stupid. Does that make you feel better, telling everybody they're stupid all the time? Well, I'm going to point out some stupid things about you, all right? Racism and sexism in America in your video spelled phonetically, the president of the USA. I don't know what uh, that's supposed to be making fun of. I guess I'm stupid. I don't get that joke either. And I'm a, uh, an English teacher. Um, yeah. Okay, you ask the question, I'll address your questions. You ask the question whether being a woman or being a black uh, affects your ability to rise to the top. And yes, it does. If that were not true, there would, be, there would be more blacks and women at the top. You will notice there are not. And I find it very ironic that you are criticizing Americans when, if you look at a little Australian history, I can give you a few facts that might interest some of your viewers. And in case you, I'm sure you know these facts, so the fact that you ignore them is quite convenient. Um, well, let's talk about your all-white uh, immigration policy from 1830 to 1973. Now, to be fair, that policy was relaxed in 1964. Uh, so in 1964, you did start accepting non-whites, so isn't that nice? And in 1965, you gave Aborigines the right to vote, which is great. So thanks to the right to vote that Aborigines now have, how many Aborigines have served in higher office in Australia? Two. How many Aborigines, a little burp coming up there, how many Aborigines currently serve an Australian government? Zero. So where you get off telling me or anybody that Americans are stupid and ignorant, I don't know. Where the hell do you get your balls? Really? Did you buy them somewhere? Mail order? Now some people do, some women and some blacks have risen to the top despite the obstacles that society puts in front of them. And great, that's great, that's wonderful. But you criticizing American media basically ignores the fact that American media appeals to the lowest common denominator, again, which is stupidity. And yes, it is an issue. Calling people stupid and ignorant doesn't solve anything. You didn't point out anything enlightening in your video. All you did was call people stupid and point out the fact that race and sex has nothing to do with ability. Oh, really? I didn't know that. You criticize people for being interested in Britney Spears, yet you yourself are fascinated with Star Wars and Star Trek. Please tell me how being interested in Star Wars and Star Trek is any better than being interested in Britney Spears. Really, I'd like to know. Tell me how that's superior. I don't get it. Britney Spears is a human being. Now, I'm not interested in her, but think about what you say. You're basically guilty of the same thing. Again, I'll say it. You're guilty of appealing to the lowest common denominator, which is basically 
being a big bully on YouTube and bashing people. So I think you ought, I think what you lack, what you lack, Blunty, is a little respect. A little respect on both sides of the screen can go a long way. I would ask that you consider that. Give me a break, man. Give me a break, man. Let's all watch Victor from Japan.